Good afternoon. This vlog is about a tag rugby blitz that we got to do last weekend. Unfortunately, since that tag rugby blitz, there's been a number of developments. Sports events and matches will revert to behind closed doors with strict avoidance of social gatherings before and after events. There have been another tag rugby blitz planned in two weeks, which is dushed. So enjoy this footage of me doing something that will no longer be allowed until minimum September 13th. So we're going to Blitz tonight and last night we brought the spare jerseys down to the game and people put their dirty jerseys back in on top. So because of Covid we had to wash the whole bag. We do it every week, doesn't matter, but like we're playing again with the same team tonight at a Blitz. So. I was like, Alex, you don't have time to dry them all. You don't have time to dry them all. We've no dryer, and this is his solution. That isn't the fucking funniest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Thank you so much to Amazon Prime for sponsoring this vlog. So this weekend, the very first tag rugby blitz was allowed to go ahead in Dublin. I was really worried it was going to be cancelled because of the counties in lockdown, but it was allowed to go ahead. Happy days. I play sport called tag rugby, non-contact rugby with tags on. I'll put a link down in the description to an explainer. But basically a blitz is where loads of teams come together, we all play each other, and then we all like go drinking afterwards. And we haven't been able to do it since 2019 because it hasn't been allowed. If you beat me for snazziest boots, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> To be able to be outside with everyone playing and sideline canning um, and in my case shower canning afterwards <laughs> was absolutely amazing. There was some good plays, there was some bad plays. I gave away a few penalties for contact as usual. <laughs> right, so I've had a shower and I had a shower can. <laughs> now we're headed to the pub because apparently it's opening till 11. Um, we have to buy food but we can be seen at 11. It's very dark, why am I videoing? Afterwards then, we were meant to go to the pub for food, but actually there was too many people with restrictions and everything, so we went to the beach instead. Okay, so the pub's kicked us out, so we've gone to the beach. And when we landed down at the beach, we were greeted with fire dancers. So it turns out there's like a poi, is it called poi poi dancing group that meet on that beach regularly to practice their fire dancing. And we landed down and we were just like, oh my God. This people dancing with fire here was amazing. Felt like our own personal show. Lads, is this an unbelievable footage for a vlog? I can't believe I'm at a fucking beach party with poi right now. <laughs> like, what the fuck? At one point, a cheese board came out, which probably wasn't smart. We did all hand sanitize, but like, listen, sure, you're, you do stupid stuff when you're drunk, including partaking of a cheese plate, okay? I'm not perfect. I'm only human. Today is a seriously hungover day after the blitz last night. I couldn't believe when we went down to the beach and there were people doing poi, like the fire dancing. Unreal, like one in the morning. It was unbelievable, it was so good. And also, those hard seltzers we tried in the Dry Channel video were brilliant at the blitz because you're like playing tag, you're really thirsty for water and just totally forgot there's alcohol in it. Was a blitz good fun, Alex? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feeling okay? Mm -hmm. And then on Saturday and Sunday, nothing much happened because me and Alex were just dying to death. <laughs> we were recovering, so we just binge watched Amazon Prime video for the weekend. <laughs> we're looking for a new TV show to watch on Prime, and I am actually so excited with some of the shows it has. We were really early adopters of Amazon Prime. Well, you were really early adopter of Amazon Prime. Yes. You I got did. it immediately. Got it for Grand Tour. 
Yeah, yeah, which is very good. We've watched a lot of it now since. I can't believe how much has been added to it. I have a confession to make. I'm kind of disappointed I didn't watch The Man in the High Castle with you. It did look really good. <laughs> you really liked Picard as well. I did. So did I, actually. I really got into it. I think Man in the High Castle was better, though. That's definitely my favourite one. It's either that or The Boys. Oh, The Boys is really, really yeah. good. I'm torn between The Boys and Jack Ryan season two. So, yeah, we have to figure out what to watch next now. The Boys season two. When is that out? 4th of September. Do you know that off the top of your head? Yeah, it's, um, been waiting for it for a while. <laughs> it's like the best sponsorship ever. Yeah. It's like your favourite thing <laughs> in the world. <laughs> oh, thank you to Amazon Prime Video for sponsoring this video. Uh, start your seven day free trial, cancel any time. There's over a thousand titles available now. Unlimited streaming for five ninety nine a month. That's actually very affordable. I think I pay it annually. Oh, big books over here. Yeah, big books. Money back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's pick something to watch it. I'm dying to watch something. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God, that looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Oh my God, that looks so good. Yesterday I was making breakfast and Alex was like, this seems like an awful lot of food. Did you make all of the breakfast food? And I was like, oh my God, I did. I was so over that I made two days worth of breakfast yesterday. I like to eat the whole day. Well, it was an absolutely brilliant time. I'm so happy it could go ahead. There is meant to be another one in a couple of weeks, but we'll see. We can't go back. If we falter now, every sacrifice we have made to date will be for naught. We have to accept that we have to recommit ourselves to accepting the reality of the continued threat of this virus. But it was amazing to be out and about and having the crack. I didn't win the snazziest boots, unfortunately. However, Alex did win best joke because he was the only person who told the venue manager a joke. So he won by default, but that hasn't stopped him going on about it ever since. I won the best joke. <laughs> First performance. <laughs> it's all about the delivery. How does it feel to be the funniest one in the family? Uh, well, I've always known it. No, it's just now he's got something to market because, I mean, we've always looked at Alex as the funny one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I'm in the thumbnail, more views, you know? <laughs> Rage and I didn't win Snazzy's boots. Thank you so much to Amazon Prime Video for sponsoring this vlog. There are over a thousand titles to choose from on Amazon Prime Video and the subscription fee starts from only $5.99 a month. Link to sign up is down in the description. I will say one thing actually about Amazon Prime. During lockdown, non-Prime items were taking weeks and weeks to arrive, but Prime items were arriving in a normal time frame. Um, so I found that super helpful during lockdown. Please subscribe to the channel. Please consider supporting me on Patreon if you enjoy my content and want to help me keep being able to create it. Um, if you're not in a position to support on Patreon, I do have a Kofi where you can buy me a pint, which is super exciting, is it not? Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, maybe you like this vlog or the playlist of vlogs or check out all of the other series I do, different stuff that I do on my YouTube channel.